Hey, hey, Alan here, and welcome to another episode of Amazing Future. There's a huge anomaly on our planet, which is undoubtedly one of the most important features of the Earth's magnetic field, and the chances are you haven't even heard about it. Oh, and scientists now believe it's growing and splitting in two. Shall we begin? Let's begin now. So what is this anomaly then? Well, it's called the South Atlantic Anomaly, and it is a huge area which stretches from Chile in South America all the way to Zimbabwe in Africa. The anomaly is believed to be caused by processes inside the Earth's core, where molten metal rich in iron churns at about 1,800 miles below the surface. This can then affect the magnetic field. So in the area of the South Atlantic Anomaly, the magnetic field is so weak that it allows the Earth's inner Van Allen radiation belt to dip a lot lower than normal. It can dip down to about 200 kilometers or 120 miles from the surface. While not affecting life on the surface, it can allow more radiation through to lower levels of the atmosphere. And this can be hazardous for spacecrafts and satellites. Scientists from around the world are studying data from the ESA's swarm satellite constellation to better understand the amount of radiation that is being allowed through in the anomaly. The white dots on this map indicate individual events where swarm instruments registered the impact of radiation between 2014 and 2019. At the moment, to avoid being affected, operators shut down non-essential systems on satellites before they enter the SAA. NASA even tracks the South Atlantic Anomaly on its big maps on the wall in the ISS control room so that they can see exactly where it is and take the necessary precautions before the ISS passes into that area. The space station, orbiting at an inclination of 51.6 degrees, has extra shielding on board to help when it does pass through the South Atlantic Anomaly. And even then, the crew on board are still affected by this region they report seeing shooting stars in their field of view, which is an effect termed cosmic ray visual phenomenon. The Hubble Space Telescope also can't take observations whilst passing through the South Atlantic anomaly. It's also thought that the SAA was responsible for a series of false alarms on Skylab station when that was in orbit. Oh, and CRS-1, SpaceX's Dragon capsule, whilst it was docked to the ISS, experienced a transient problem whilst passing through the South Atlantic anomaly. Some scientists think that the weakening of the field which causes the South Atlantic anomaly in the first place is a sign we're heading for a pole reversal or pole flip, where the North and South Poles change places. Something that could cause havoc with navigation and even migrating birds, I would have thought. But don't panic though, the latest thought is the flip wouldn't happen overnight, it would take place over a century or so. Although during that time, there would be multiple North and South Poles all over the planet. A statement from the European Space Agency says that such events have occurred multiple times throughout the planet's history and we are long overdue at the average rate at which reversals take place, which is roughly every 250,000 years. But I wouldn't worry too much about the South Atlantic anomaly being a sign that something is going to happen. Scientists studying rock samples from volcanic eruptions 8 to 11 million years ago have found evidence that magnetic, low magnetic fields were quite common and the South Atlantic anomaly could have been here longer than us. Thanks for watching. Bye bye for now.